I'm so excited for this wedding. It is finally going to be happening tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. And I know that you've really been looking forward to this, Keegan. Although I didn't think you'd be getting as excited as you have been these past couple of weeks. But I'm glad to see you are that happy. Of course I'm going to be getting excited about our wedding weeks in advance. And once this is all over with, we can finally get down to business being a married couple. <laughs> what? What do you mean, get down to business? It's not like things are going to change that much for us once we have this wedding and are married. Well, I guess so. I was more talking about myself. <laughs> I'm so happy we moved into our new house so quickly. Me too. I know that things were a bit stressful for you back when you still had to live at your mom's house. But with the house we have now, it's not in such a bad place for the both of us to be living, and it's not too far from my office. By the way, I'm almost home from work. Oh, is that right? I haven't really made anything for dinner yet. Can you buy something on your way home, then? <laughs> then you and I can have whatever you'd find for dinner together. What? You still haven't made anything to eat for dinner? This is like the third time now of you doing this. I thought we'd already talked about how on days where you don't have to work, you should do the cooking so that we're not spending a whole lot of money on takeout. This week alone, I've been either having to do all the cooking for us, or I've been having to get takeout when I'm coming home late. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I, it won't be long before things change for the better between you and I, and we won't have to talk like this anymore. <laughs> so please, buy us something good on your way home. I'm not in the mood to make anything up for us to eat right now. What do you mean by that? Are you going to be getting a new job or something? No, that's not at all what I'm talking about. <laughs> this just has to do with me. <laughs> all you have to do is look forward to what I'm talking about since it's going to be a surprise. A surprise? What could it be? Well, for the time being, I'll go find us something to eat and then I'll be on my way home. I should be there soon, so please at least get all the cleaning done that I asked you to do today. Congratulations on yesterday's wedding. I'm sure you're all tired out now, Allison. But even if you have been very busy lately with things like the wedding, things will only become more tough for you in these coming days. So while you have a little bit of breathing room, please take a break. Good evening, Conrad. And thank you for getting in touch with me after the wedding. That is very kind of you. I really look forward to what life has to offer now that I'm your daughter-in-law. No. I look forward to what life has to offer you now that I'm your father-in-law. You have always been the sweetest woman I've known, so please know just how thankful I am for having someone like you come and marry my son. He had been such a selfish pain in my butt, so thank you. Hey, 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 you don't have to say that. He has a lot of great things about him as well, and that's why we ended up getting married. I understand that he has a sloppy side to him, but from now on, I'll work together with him to slowly fix that. Keegan is a very lucky man for being able to find such a loving and caring young woman like yourself. And I'm not just saying how thankful I am towards you for taking him, but also taking his super selfish mother. Excuse me? his mother? I really have no idea how to explain to you just how thankful I am for what you're doing. If there is anything you ever are having trouble with, let me know. I'll do whatever I can, if I can even do anything. Please take great care of those two. Hold on a second, Conrad. What do you mean by those two? In just two days, Keegan's mother will be moving in with the both of you, right? I'm really sorry that I had to divorce her so close to your guys' wedding. What? Huh? She's coming to live with us now? I have been trying to call you for a whole day now, yet you haven't been answering any of my calls, Keegan. Why won't you pick up your phone? Uh, I was just getting some very much needed sleep is all. <laughs> I slept so well that I won't need to sleep for at least a couple of days now. You need something from me? Wedding is over with now, so you shouldn't be needing much right now, right? I want to know why right after our wedding, you've been dodging all my calls for a day. 
And what is this about you going with your mother out to a resort and leaving me here at the house all alone right after our wedding? And yesterday I started to hear some things from your father that I thought I'd never have to hear. My mom has done everything for me ever since I was a little baby, so I had to show her how thankful I am. I wanted to take her to that resort so that her and I could take some time to relax together. What's so bad about that? That is not the problem I'm having right now. I told you already that I just wanted it to be you and I living together, right? So why did I hear from your father yesterday that your mother would be coming now as well? What the heck? Did my dad really have to go and spoil everything like that? <laughs> I plan to make it a big surprise for you and everything. <laughs> well, he wasn't lying to you then. My mom is coming to live with us now. The wedding is all over with now, so it's about time someone's parents, or I guess I should say parent, moved in with us, right? What? No! I have no idea what you're going on about right now, Keegan. It's only been three days since our wedding, we haven't even had a honeymoon or anything yet, and you're talking about having your mother come and live with us? What is going on here? Is this what you meant by things would be getting better after the wedding? That's right. Because tomorrow my mom is going to be living with us. <laughs> I'm sure you've been looking forward to this, right? I know you were going on and on about how you didn't want to be living with anyone's parents, but that was all lies, right? <laughs> I realize that I really need my mom, so that's why she'll be coming. You never have to do anything like cook or clean, so I really need my mom right now more than ever. And do you know why I'm never cooking and cleaning? Because I'm the one working more hours than you, requiring me to be out of the house a lot of the time. Did you really think it was a smart idea to make a choice like that without even talking to me first? Huh? That house is under my name. <laughs> and? What are you trying to say right now? How does your name being on the house and having your mother come and live with us have anything to do with one another? From the start, I was telling you that I did not want either of our parents living with us. We talked about that plenty of times before we even got married. I thought things were understood between you and I and that we would be able to enjoy our lives as a married couple together with nobody else around. Does this mean you were never actually listening to what I said? I actually never said this to you before getting married, but my mom and dad got a divorce. And I heard about that from your father yesterday. That's when I realized I need to take care of my mom now. And my mom told me that she wants to support me. So why can't she come to our house and live with us, right? You and I are upstairs, so I was thinking of making the room next to the living room my mom's room. <laughs> Could you please get all your things out of there? Are you being serious right now? We put that room together for our first baby when we have kids! Ugh, I can see now that no matter what I say to you, you're not going to listen. When you're pregnant, we can think about where to put the kid. But right now, my mom is coming to live with us, so we need a place for her. She is in need of a place, so we have to help her. You're not doing this to help her, though. You're doing this because you want someone else to start doing the chores and cooking for you because you don't want to, right? It's been a real pain in my butt having a wife around who doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Even my mom understands that. So that's why during our whole wedding, your mom was completely ignoring me and wouldn't even look me in the eyes when I approached her. I was wondering what happened to her, but now I know that she's been deceived. Well, who cares now? No matter what you have to complain about me, it's not going to matter. <laughs> this is my surprise present to you, so you're going to have to take it. You always said you didn't want to live with either of our parents, but that had to be a lie, right? <laughs> The same goes for me, right? <laughs> I might have said a thing or two about not wanting my parents to move in with us, but I was lying as well. <laughs> Tomorrow my mom will be moving in, so clean out that room. Then I'll be moving my things out. Oh, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> I know that you and I were both kidding about not wanting anyone's parents moving in, but I also expect you to put up a bit more of a fight. Thank goodness you were so easy to talk with. Well, I've already come to the conclusion that no matter what I say, it'll be landing on deaf ears. Now, I'm going to go deal with my things. She'll be moving in tomorrow, right? That means you'll be coming home together with her, right? That's right. Get everything ready to celebrate my mom moving in. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to this. 
Conrad, what you were saying yesterday was no joke. But I'm very sorry to have to say that I never knew about Keegan's mother moving in with us. I thought that might have been the case. I was thinking that he went ahead and made the choice to move her in with you both on his own, and totally skipped asking you about it. That's one of the reasons I reached out to you yesterday, to make sure you were aware of what would happen. I thought there would be no way my son could do that to you, but now you had to get all caught up in my son's selfishness just like I've been. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to be sorry for what's happened. If anything, I'm the one who should be sorry. We went through with that large wedding and everything, yet I'm not going to be able to live with Keegan's mother. And like you've been saying, your son is a very selfish man, and I can no longer put up with his self-centered thought process any longer. I'm sure you don't want to be hearing this from me, and it's strange for me to even be bringing it up to you in the first place. Allison, it's fine. I have known for a very long time now that you are a wonderful young woman, and so I can completely understand where you're coming from. But my son is not the right person for you, and I've known that for a while as well. He has always lived life being spoiled by his mother, and because of that, he has always thought that he didn't need to do anything because his mother would come to save him. I think that whatever you have in mind will not only teach him a lesson, but bring some joy to me as well. You think so? Hearing you of all people say something like that actually makes me feel better about what I have up my sleeve. This is because I feel very bad for you. So if there is anything you need from me, please don't keep yourself from asking me. Thank you so much. That actually is one thing I'd love to ask for your help with. Answer your dang phone! What happened to all the things in our house? Why is there nothing in the kitchen and living room? What the hell did you do while I've been out of the house? Why didn't you ask me for permission before doing whatever you've done? You're the one that never asked me for permission before bringing your mother home, so what's the problem here? What was that? If you're looking at your phone right now, then you can pick up my dang calls! What the hell has happened to all the furniture and everything in this house? All of the furniture and everything? That was all my stuff that I brought into the house when we moved in. What? What the hell are you trying to say right now? I told you that I'd be taking care of all my things, didn't I? So I went and took care of all my things. <laughs> Do you have a problem or something with what I've done? Of course I have a problem with this. I told you just to take care of all your things that were in the room next to the living room, right? Why did you take things like all the appliances in the house and all the furniture as well? Tell me what you are trying to do right now! Things like all the appliances and the furniture were bought with my money, so there shouldn't be any problems with you, right? I'm leaving that house for good now, so I decided that I'd take it all with me. Am I wrong for doing what I've done? What? You're leaving for good? You're leaving my house for good? Why are you leaving the house? What do you want to tell me about now? I never heard anything from you before about how you wanted to leave my house. What is going on here, Allison? Who do you think you are leaving my house without even saying anything first? I've told you already, Keegan. How many more times am I going to have to tell you? You were the one that started doing things without talking to me first. And I've grown really tired of you doing things like that with me, and this is the outcome of that. That's why I found out that the only thing left there was for me... That's when I figured out that the only thing there was left for me to do was leave. I did what you asked of me yesterday, and that was clean out all my stuff from the room next to the living room. So there should be no problems, right? But you're leaving my house for good. So that means we won't be living together under the same roof anymore, right? Nope. Because we are getting a divorce now. What? We are getting a divorce, and that is why I had to gather up all my things and get them out of that house yesterday. I had someone who was able to come and help me as soon as I called for them, so we made it all happen like a piece of cake. I can no longer handle being with you, and I will not let your mother or you follow me. The two of you can figure something out for yourselves now. 
The house is your house after all, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you actually being serious about this right now? What the hell are you talking about, Allison? A divorce? I never heard anything from you about that either. And I never heard anything from you about having your mother move in with us last minute. If you're going to call that your surprise present to me, then consider this divorce my surprise present to you. I hope you enjoy it just as much as I've enjoyed that present from you. Your father was kind enough to get all the divorce papers in line for me, so make sure you get them from him and hand them in as soon as possible. If you try fighting this divorce or try to do anything weird, you are only going to be wasting both of our time, and that's not very good. What? What the... You had my dad helping you? You went and brought all of this up with my dad? I had to, Keegan. Who do you think was the one who helped me get all my things out of your house? No way. You asked my dad to help you move away and he actually helped you? Why would you even get my dad involved in all this in the first place? And why would he help you? Because your father was the one who offered me the help. So I just went along with what he was saying and asked that he bring his truck to help me escape. Also, he was the first person I heard from about how you and your mother had been planning for your mother to move into the house without ever talking to me. Huh? Since one of you and him been so close to where you guys can talk about things like that? It all started with how he told me how he was happy to have finally said goodbye to his selfish little son. And then after that, he said as a token of his thanks for taking you, he would help me with anything I needed. So he went and asked a friend of his, who owns a small moving business, to come over to the house and help me move out. Your father came along as well with his pickup truck and helped me with whatever other things I had, and we got out of there. That's why even the heaviest of furniture, like the coffee table and dining table, are all gone. So you're being serious about this? You really plan to leave this house and me? Why do you want a divorce? And what about my things like the TV and my stereo system? Were you really that upset about me moving my mom into the house with us? She is my very important mom. So why can't you understand how I feel about her? Come on. I had told you time and time again, even before you and I started dating. I did not want to have to live with either of our parents after getting married, and that was no joke. And as for the TV and stereo system, those are both mine as well. I brought a lot of those things with me from my old place, and then whatever else we needed that I didn't have, I bought with my own money. There's no reason for me to be leaving my things with you, right? Most of it I've already sold in hopes of getting enough money for me to have a decent place to myself. But not all of it sold for as much as I was hoping. But how the hell are my mom and I supposed to live in this empty house that has barely any furniture or anything in it? My mom finally moved into here today, and now there is nothing for her to sit on out in the living room, and no TV for her to watch her dramas on. Don't you at least feel sorry for her? Would you shut your mouth already, you asshole? Uh, what? How much more are you going to keep whining and complaining about things, causing Allison all kinds of trouble before you feel satisfied with being a little bitch? How freaking stupid are you? I mean, really? You think you can just get away with doing whatever you want because your useless mother spoiled the hell out of you or something? You don't even work a proper job right now at your age, so what makes you think you deserve any respect from anyone for what you do? I'm embarrassed to think that I'm your father of all people. Wait. My father? Is that you, Dad? That's right. I can't watch this happen anymore, because you are so freaking annoying that it's driven me up so many walls. Hold on a second. Why are you with Allison right now? I have no idea what's been going on here, so please explain this all to me. You didn't say anything at all to your wife, and decided to move your mother into that house, even though Allison had specifically told you multiple times that she didn't want anyone's parents moving into the house. 
And then you only first started to talk about it the day before your mother was going to move in. Like you could get away with something like that because she's just your mother. Also, I've heard about how you don't have a job right now. Since when did you go and quit your job or get fired from your job? You are nothing more than a worthless leech, you. Not only have you had no job, but you've been asking for your wife to spoil you and won't even bother with things like chores or cooking. And then you started to ask your hard-working wife to do things for you like the cleaning and the cooking. Right before bringing your mom into the house, which your wife had specifically told you not to. You are so mentally... Yeah. I'm crying right now just thinking about how much of a screw-up you've become. How old are you even? Stop acting like a damn child and snap back into reality. God damn it. What? Why were you told about how I'm unemployed right now? Wait, Allison even knew about it? How did she find out? I made it seem like I was working a job all that time and did everything to make sure nobody would find out I've been unemployed. But the thing is, you're not very good at lying. Always sitting around the house all day like that does not make for a good cover-up. You really thought I wasn't going to notice you never leaving the house? Is that you again, Allison? What the hell is going on here? How are you able to find that out? I just told you, you idiot. And the reason your father had to just butt in there is because he couldn't watch this unfold anymore. He was so upset about what his son had turned into that he took my phone from me and started to tear into you. And that's just how fed up your father and I are with you. Do you understand that now? This is why your father has been helping me. But why would you tell my dad about how I'm unemployed now? If God had made me look like a useless freak. What? <laughs> So you've known that you're a useless freak all this time, then? Then maybe you should have gone out and found another job, you idiot! But instead, all you did was sit around the house like a sloth, eating chips and watching your movies, never even bothering with the chores I asked you to do. I only let that go on for a little while because you and I had only just married. I had even thought to myself that maybe, once the wedding was over with, you'd finally get back on track and look for a new job, but you didn't. Instead, you went and started your plan of moving your mother into our house, even though I said no to something like that so many times. Right? I had no choice, though. My mom only has a little bit of money coming from every month from her social security. So she was in need of someone who could take care of her in her old age. And what was supposed to make taking her in pay off was the fact that she'd clean and cook for me. I thought that by having her around it would help you out, and that you'd be alright with everything. Did you just say her social security? <laughs> Keegan, she's not even 60 years old yet. Do you have any idea how old one has to be before getting that? What? She's not getting money every month yet? You don't even have any common sense. I'm out of here, man. There is no way a man like you in your 30s has made it this far like that. And now you're talking like you need your mother back because you can't even take care of yourself? What the hell happened to you? Honestly, I don't even want the answer to that one. Just go ahead and leave me alone now. You have that whole house to yourself now to do with what you want. And you can even have your mother sleep with you now upstairs. But beware, you might have the place under your name, but who do you think has been the one paying for it? Me. And now that I'm out of there, you'll have to pay on your own. So good luck with that. Huh? You're not even going to continue paying for the house? Are you actually that smooth-brained or something? What the hell? Why the hell would I be paying for a house I don't even live in anymore? Do you even understand what the definition of divorce is? I'll be getting a settlement from you as well in this divorce, so please get all your money together for that. What? What do you keep going on about? A settlement now? I think you're taking all of this way too far. I was the one that had to pay for that entire wedding in the end, right? And before we even got married, I had told you at least ten times that I did not want us living with any of our parents. 
but you never listened and stabbed me in the back only days after the wedding. This divorce is because of all that, and I will need you to pay me back for a part of that wedding. I want at least half of what that wedding cost me. Your father even said he'll get you to pay, so don't even begin to think that you can run. What? My dad said that? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Why is my dad taking your side in all of this? I am his son, his only child. And my mom had to be kicked out of the house by dad as well. You both are the worst. At least give me back all the furniture that you took. You really think that your father and I are the worst? Because of how useless your mother is, your father had to live a life of hell. I don't want to say anything more about what happened with those two because they're not my parents, but he struggled for a long time dealing with you two. It was also your mother who chose to leave and not your father forcing her out. Your father had nothing to do with that and he made sure that she had some money in order to take care of herself for a little bit. There you go. You can see now that your father did nothing more than get rid of two bad eggs, so stop your complaining. I'm sure that may be the case, but this is bad for me. Allison, please do not divorce me like this. I don't want to lose you, okay? I want for you, my mom, and I to all get along together and be happy. I'm sorry to say this, but I'm not your guys' family anymore. Also, your mother was never even family to me from the very beginning. You both do nothing but care for yourselves, and anytime something you do affects other people, you just expect them to deal with it because you guys know you can't be asked to give up something you want for someone else. So to hell with you both. Go and sign those dang divorce papers and then get the hell out of my life. Now, that is it from me. Bye forever. Enjoy your new life with that mother of yours. <laughs> Conrad, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Because of you and your help, I was able to find myself a new place right away and was able to move into there without any hiccups. Not even that is enough to thank you for what you'd done by getting my son and ex away from me and then giving them what they both deserve. But the fact that they caused you that much trouble this time... I am so, so sorry. You don't have to worry about that anymore. I hope that by doing what we've done to Keegan, he'll have learned a thing or two and will no longer be a problem for either of us ever again. Allison, I'm sure after this we won't really be seeing one another anymore, but if there is ever anything, and I mean anything you need my help with, please let me know and I'll do my best. To me, even if you are leaving my son to be on your own, you are my daughter. Like my daughter, I should say. I'll make sure you get that money you asked for in the settlement, so please relax and take some time to think about what you'll do next. Thank you so very much for helping me get here, Conrad. If ever there's another chance for you and I to talk or meet, I'll really be looking forward to it. Now, since you and I are both on our own again, let's be careful while making the most of our lives as single adults again. After Conrad went and had a very long talk with his son in private, and a very loud one, I hear, he was able to talk Keegan into signing the divorce forms and giving me the money I had requested. Right now, the divorce has been completed, and I'm just waiting for that money to come into my bank account. It seems that Keegan's mother has some pretty decent debt and was hoping that her son would be able to pay it all off for her. But with the way things turned out for Keegan, she can no longer think about relying on him and their relationship of being a very close mother and son has turned into two adults battling it out in an empty house every day. I'm sure it really is a sad life to be living, but there's nothing I can do about it and nothing I'd want to do about it. As for myself and how things ended up with me, I'm still going out with Conrad every so often for coffee. We talk about how our lives have been going after our divorces and about how much more peaceful things are now after getting rid of those children. <laughs>